Sips Make Game Friends. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to review another Halloween special. And this one is one of my favorite, one of my favorite comedies, and also my another childhood movie. And that is, and you guys know this, a Cinderella story. That's right guys, the 2004 movie, and before we do, if you want to subscribe once for me, please do me a favor, do me a favor, just head up, you just, you just subscribe to the channel, smash the button, turn the notifications on, if you guys want to see more videos, and now we you know my friends, let's review a Cinderella story that came out back in 2004, so let's do it. So first of all guys, um, so a Cinderella story, so first of all guys, a Cinderella story is a, is a, is a rom-com, um, fantasy, well, not fantasy, like a fairy tale, modern, modern retelling of Cinderella, and, and Cinderella guys is one of my favourite Fairy tales along with Peter Pan, Peter Pan, um, Jack Beanstalk, and and many, 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 many more, more um, fairy tales. So I have watched this film, um, I believe yesterday, and also today as well. I watched it, and um, the the first time, what the first time I watched this movie, guys, was on ITV, ITV. So it, I watched it. This film always on like ITV two, maybe sometimes, and it was absolutely cool. So, so, so I need guys to like really for games. Why are you reviewing a rom com? So the reason why I'm reviewing this film, guys, because this film is set in Halloween. So. So, so, when it says it's a Halloween film, I'm like, oh, it's a Halloween film, I don't, I don't review it, I don't review it, so, I'm not doing it. So, it is one of my favourites, and I know there's a lot of controversy over this, but to me, I find it, I find it film, I find it, this film very, very, very funny, I find it, um, like, very sweet, um, I find it um, really good. Basically, I absolutely love this film, and it w one of my favorites growing up. Basically, yeah. So now, guys, let's get into the story of a serial story. So, so first of all, guys, before we do that, if you guys haven't seen the movie, please check it out. It's really cool, and um, and you you might enjoy the movie. So please do so. So, yeah, so, so let's do it. So it says here, Sam, an unhappy teenage girl who lives with her evil stepmother, Brianna, and stepsisters, Brianna, well, Brianna, and Gabriella, in San, San Fernando Valley, in um, California, right? After her father's death due to the earthquake, Sam forcibly works in Fiona's diner as a diner girl plus doing work for school and being mistreated by her step family. You guys know it's, you guys know it's done, right? However, Sam begins an online relationship with a boy called Nomad who essentially reveals himself as Austin Ames, a popular teenage boy and footballer in school. Sam and Nomad agree to meet up, but they don't know each other's identity until Sam's life went upside down by getting exposed, exposed, getting exposed off by her, by her, yeah, by her step family. Can Sam reclaims her dreams? And wins Austin's heart before too late. So before, before life goes to joy, yeah. So first, so basically, guys, 
Um, so basically, guys, this movie. So basically, guys, this movie is um follows Sam, who is a teenage girl who lives, like I said, there with her step family, and the step family was treating her very, 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 very um not very nice. Basically, they were being being she the being the, like mistreated her basically and there wasn't they actually turned her life upside down they they made her work in the diner they she, she got to school and also she got humiliated but but she got but she but she got a um online dating on well not online dating like an online relationship with this boy nomad and so she actually does the whole thing. So basically, um, so basically she, basically guys, she, um, basically in the movie we saw her a little girl who every day no, she, she, she was a little girl with her dad and then her dad actually, so a few days later, I'm not saying, I'm not doing too much, a few days later, Sam grows up. And after her dad's death, due to the earthquake, um, Fiona actually took over everything. Um, the diner, everything, including Sam. So Sam actually been treated, like, like I said, been mistreated by, by her. And um, she was being an actual cow to Sam, treated like a servant, basically. Like, like Cinderella was, and so from school, um, she she friends with Carter and everybody, and uh, she talking to Nomad, who's who who is secretly known as Arthur Names. So he uh, prefer Sam. He doesn't know Sam is the the girl he talks to on. Emails, right, or texting, basically, and um, so basically like that, and um, so basically she's planning, um, they're planning to meet meet each other at this Halloween dance, so like the ball, right? So Sam's like, so Sam is working, and and she's like, nah, I'm not going, and um, Carter came in as um. Zoro, after Arthur and his Arthur uh, broke up with his girlfriend, who's an absolute um not absolute um like cuckoo basically, and she's not very nice to him, but basically, but basically, yeah, so. So they go and um, they decided for her to Sam to go to the dance and meet Nomad and she's like, uh, I want to, but I, but I'm working. I got a job to do and and like guys, Rhonda. She is her dad. She is Sam's dad. Um, like. Friend and she want what's best for, for Sam and she knows what her dad wants her to, to have is to go to college and have a job and that not all the way round you know what I mean so so basically they go and <laughs> I love the scene guys where Charlie goes <laughs> he goes you go ahead girlfriend and she goes. Come and go for one more time, and he goes, all right, all right, all right, I won't go that. He like, so they go to this, um, I look, oh, for God's sake, sorry guys, to this, um, Halloween shop, dress up shop, and they have to do that, and they do like a montage, dress up as, uh, different characters, and so then, Sam then decided, to 
to wear Rhonda's wedding dress, and that's what she did. So they go to the to to, to Dan's where she meets Nomad, and this is where she found out is Arthur's names. And they go to have a little dance, basically. And so th then we saw Carter have a fight with David, who dressed as a freaking freaking um female tortilla. And that's really really cool. I just like that. So. So Sam goes and uh, the 12 o'clock sort of thing, you know what I mean guys, the 12 o'clock, you know what I mean. So basically she accidentally left her phone behind, it's not, it's not like a shoe, a phone, right? She does that, so she goes back to work before a step family goes there to, to see she's there. So then... She got there, everything, everything planned. Austin is looking for the Princeton girl. She's looking for the leafers of wear. David got look, got a few girls in the queue. Got like, and, and Austin's like, "Are you serious, man?" He's like, "Are you serious? Are you serious?" Like, no, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> into that. No, man. He's like, no. So. So basically, um, then they go, and um, this is where John, this is where her family John, being an actual pig, her sisters, right? They read Sam's emails, like guys snooping. That's wrong. Shouldn't do that. No snooping in other people's privacies. No, it's wrong, right? It's wrong. So. They, the, so they're like, wait, Sam in Cinderella? So they go and simulate her. So basically, there's a scene in the movie where they actually expose her in this uh, preparation for the big game. And, um, so, so guys, I'm, I'm not getting into too much. So, so basically like that, and um, Sam was, was crying, they all say, Dino girl, Dino girl. And you, you just see her face. Her f best friend Carter is like, really, man? That is wrong. And so Austin actually, guys, was really, 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 really upset because he just, like, look, like, look, I don't blame the guy because he just made a fun of someone that's not nice and he knows that. So later on, she goes home till Fiona actually tweet her um basically Sam got the Princeton Princeton College um uh, application but Fiona tweeted it making she she couldn't get in. So that's bad. So so anyway, all kinds of stuff went went up went up to went up to crap. So she decided to go after she was humiliated by other people and all kinds of stuff. So she stood up to Fiona. She stood up to Fiona. She stood up to the step sisters. She said, "Look, she said, Fiona, I'm moving out. I'm moving out. You don't own me. I'm gonna." And I'm quitting. I'm gonna do whatever I want now. You're not my mother. You never was. And so that was really, really brave of her because Fiona actually like like guys all those eight years since her father's death actually actually brought her down because she hates that she hates her family. So she so she moved with Rhonda and that's really cool. Rhonda twits, the the talk twits, and even she got all the 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 um the guest as it goes basically. So yeah, so anyway, guys, last few scenes we see Sam goes to the game, and this is where the oh God's sake, sorry guys, he he need to stop, he need to stop that. So basically, yeah, and um, so anyway, um, she she goes to this dance, not this dance, to the the, the game, 
and she talks to Austin and she tells and then she goes and shall we bring Austin and him, Austin and her back together but like look we do not we like look does he know that? No. Like he still loves um Sam. Like he still loves Sam. So then we're doing the game right on top that they all went Austin, Austin, Austin And Sam's like I better go. I better go. I think like 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 I did choose to come here and um, and and take it in but I can't. So she goes till Austin guys looked and he saw her goals and he's and then he goes to his friends he took off his helmet and he's like sorry boys so he goes he goes guys he goes and chase after her not not as a, a creepy way as like a as he wants to be with her and he run, he goes after her so he goes for her and and this is where they share their first kiss right in front of Carter right in front of Shelby right in front of the sex sisters like like this is what she wants and she got it all so then then after that day Sam went home and she found her father's will the, the, the actual paper and she's like hmm where did it come from so basically so basically uh, Fiona actually got rid of it and the DA got on her basically and they're like you know what you can Fiona's like you know what you can stick it I don't care you know what I mean? So, that's what she did. Right? So, they did everything about her. She got, she stole the cars for Troy's money. She did everything Sam did. And then she goes to Brenton with Austin. And, so yeah. So guys, that was my review. Guys, that was the story of, that's another story. Sorry, some some of them are getting too too long. I mean, I got seventy minutes, the eighteen. Oh God! So guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, so guys, before I, guys, what's that story, amazing, Yeah. So guys, before I go, I'm gonna rate three out of ten. My favorite scenes is the Halloween party. I love that scene. Um, Sam stood up to Fiona. Um, Austin was out for Sam. Carter vs. David and the Halloween dress up montage. I love that. It was amazing. So I love that. Well, guys, this movie is a modern retelling of Cinderella. This movie is the first film of the franchise. So, yes, there is a franchise of it. So, yeah. So, guys, that's my review of Cinderella. Well, a Cinderella story. Overall, this movie was really cool. So, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow is my part 7 of Let Them All Superheroes, so please don't miss that. It could be cool. And, yeah, and guys, on Saturday is my review of Teen Wolf, so please do not miss that film review. It'll be awesome. So, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I was doing that time. Take care of yourself. Be awesome. Like, comment. So, take care of yourself. Be awesome. Bye.